Hello, it's Will from Trifle Productions with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can use uh, time remapping in Blender effectively. Now, I did an introduction tutorial on this, or quick tip on this a while back, which is this. I'll leave this as a thumbnail, or as a co card, I guess, at the top corner, right corner of the this present video. And a link in the description below this video, too, linking them together. But I just showed how you can uh, do time remapping in Blender. But to go further on how to use it more effectively in Blender, I'm going to show you how to do that today. Now, uh, I'm working on this scene for another animation I'm working on. This is a spider crawling across uh, the screen here. Let me press play. And it's pretty fast. Now for the uh, scene I want to use this for, this is a little bit too fast. Now time remapping is located in the uh, output properties panel. And it's right here. And in order to slow down the uh, video here, you have to change the parameter in the new slot. So let's left click in there, turn this to 350 and enter. And then when you play it again, you can see it's a lot slower. Now, to render this out, uh, you'd have some issues with this. If you would want to render this like you would render a normal animation in Blender. Now, I rendered this out uh, with these settings at, uh, this was at 24 frames per second. And this is the result that I got from that. So, here it is. Left click on that and see this. And you can see that it's just flickering. Now what I think Blender is trying to do is, since it's trying to make adjustments to the slowing down of the animation, is putting in like blank uh, images in between uh, other images to make it longer. And you have that flickering appearance. And I found out that when you use time remapping in Blender, don't render, you can't render it as a normal, usual uh, Blender animation through the timeline, because that's not going to work. You've got to render it in the user interface. Now, normally when you would render this out, you choose your destination, you pick your file format, PNG or MF, F, MPEG video, and then once you've done that, you go here, click render, render animation. This is what you would do. But when you use time remapping, after you've adjusted um, this parameter here, or actually this parameter down here, sorry about that. After you've made the adjustments here, let's bump this up to 400, enter. The way you need to render it out is not from this option. You have to render out the user interface uh, display as opposed to the timeline. Now you can set it to uh, cycles or EV. EV is faster but you have to do some uh, a lot of adjustments to it to in order for it to actually give you the right results. Uh, cycles is uh, slower but it's more accurate but we're going to use EV for this demonstration. So I'm going to use EV, and then once you've done that, you have to click on this uh, the option up here to change the display, the shading, and the viewport. So let's click on that, because this is what it's going to display as an output. And after that, you have to turn, just to make sure you get a clean render, where you don't have these arrows, or um, because it's going to render, if you have anything selected in here, the, the outlines, anything in here is going to show as the output for the video. So you have to turn all of these parameters off by clicking here and here. And once that's done, do not go up here to press render, to render this scene. You have to go to view, then go down here, and click on viewport render animation. Then once that's done, uh, I'm going to uh, activate this and then once I've gone through the process of rendering it out, you'll, I'll let you guys see the end result. I'll be back in a few minutes or 
a few seconds because Eevee's pretty fast. Okay, I'm back and I've rendered it out. Uh, before I show you the uh, rendered results, uh, I rendered it out as an animation uh, video, not as a JPEG or PNG. And my settings for that, which you can also use, which will be helpful, uh, is when you go down to, by default, it's set on PNG. So when you click here, click on FFmpeg video, then encoding, click on these three little lines here, and go to H.264 and MP4, and then scroll down to output quality, make that high and use those settings that gives you the kind of the best results for the animation uh, and the end result is this let me pull this up so you guys can see it and press play and now you can see that it rendered everything out and the spider is going at the pace the slower pace that I wanted it to go at and that's how you can use time remapping, remapping effectively in Blender so just keep in mind remember that once you've, uh, let me see, let's scroll back up to where we have these settings for time remapping. Once you've activated time remapping and you set the new uh, time to be, if you want it to be uh, faster, this obviously is going to be less than 100. Uh, if you want it to be slower, it's going to be more than 100, the parameter down here. Once you set that, you pick your file destination. Video was FFmpeg and so on and so forth. As I showed earlier, then click on that, H.264 uh, and MP4. Scroll down, uh, turn this from mid-quality or medium-quality to high-quality. And this is very important, these two things. Turn off this button, turn off this button. And if you're rendering an EV, which is faster, make sure that's been activated here. If it cycles, go to cycles. And make sure that your viewport shading display is on the, this fourth option, option here, this fourth button. And then don't go to render, go to view, and then viewport render animation. And that's how I can use time remapping effectively in Blender. And once again, thank you guys who have uh, subscribed in the past. And actually, I thank you guys for watching the video. And hopefully it was helpful to those of you who have watched it. And thank you guys who have subscribed in the past, those of you who are subscribing now, and those of you who are subscribing in the future, and I will see you on the next one. But before I say that, I want to say congratulations to Mr. Beast for getting 100 million subscribers. Way to go, man. All right, so with that said, uh, adios, amigos. See you guys on the next one. All right, adios.